or welcome back to the channel everybody the third gen Camaro and I'm going to show you how to remove the rear shocks on this I already have the rear axle completely out of the vehicle shocks are still there I have the bottom bolts out so these are 21 millimeters these are the first ones you want to undo um, either way it doesn't matter you can do them from up top again these are 21 millimeters now these have kind of a the bolt that goes through them these are obviously original these are staked in on this side so that can't come off really um, so you'll have to, to hold this you can do that with a 21 millimeter or an adjustable wrench get this nut off which is a 21 millimeter uh, and I've done that on both sides you will need new bolts for the bottoms I'll put some of that stuff in the description for you um, so just stay tuned uh, we'll do a separate video once this is going back together I do want to Put the relocation kit on the, on this vehicle, meaning the original factory style, the shot goes in this position and it mounts to the axle this way. The relocation kit will put the shock this way. Uh, so it's, it's supposedly less of a bind this way, so there's a kit that you can use. So stay tuned for that. We will be doing that, but let's get these removed. So obviously my axle is completely out. It's redone, painted, new lines on it, what have you. Everything has been done. So the bottom of the shocks actually mount to here this way. This being the driver's side. If you go on the other side, that's the passenger side there. Um, so we'll take a look at how to remove the upper bolts. So if you follow where they're mounted from the underneath and inside the vehicle, they're just about here. They're not underneath where this seat belt mount is here. They're actually behind the seat. There's no trim that you need to remove or anything like that um, you don't need to remove the carpeting you just got to pull some sides of the carpeting out to get to the upper bolts on these shocks now your firebirds third gen camaros they're both going to be the same way so once you are inside here's your back seat the back of the rear seat is foldable meaning it leans forward so if you reach the sides of it, there is a lever. There's the same lever on the other side. Once you undo both of them, undo meaning pulling it towards you, both of them at the same time, the seat will fold forward, just like so. So it'll fold all the way down, giving you access here. The upper mounts are actually right under here. They're not under any of the trim. You don't need to remove any of the trim here. Remember this piece of carpet in the back of the vehicle is separate piece from the front uh, so what you need to do is if you need to take a screwdriver or some type of a tool kind of pull it away from underneath of the trim here once you do that you're able to grab the bottom of it and and there's obviously padding underneath and you can pull that away from there uh, there's a foam piece here in the corner once you remove that, there is your upper shock bolt right here. So the 15 millimeter. And there's that. There's your rubber absorber on top with the washer and a 15, 15 millimeter nut. We'll find that later. But here's your shock that has just fell off. Now on the passenger side, so the whole piece of carpet just folds all together up and over. And here's the foam piece on the passenger side, so we'll go ahead and remove that. Both of the shocks out of the vehicle. Um, just want to point out a couple things. If you are replacing these shocks, again, these look like they are original, judging from the bottom bolt. These will not come out of here. They're staked in on this end. Um, so if you are replacing, like, original shocks, you will need uh, bottom bolts. Uh, <clears throat> but if you stay tuned, what I'm doing is I'm doing a relocation kit at the bottom here. So it swings them this way instead of this way on the bottom of the axle. Uh, and that changes everything because you will need center bushings. Uh, these did not require them. So you'll need bolts and different bushings if that's what you're looking to do. I'll have some of that stuff in the description for you so that homework's been done. Uh, but if you stay tuned... I will go through that whole process if that's what you're looking to do. I thank you for watching.